What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Valhalla. My name is Splattercat. Happy as always to have you here today as we go about the process of getting evicted. It is going to be nightmarish. So let's get to that. Hopefully we make $1,828 today. If we don't make $1,828, we are doomed. I was hoping it would add up to $1,812, but it didn't because then I'd be like, bah, 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 bah. And then I can make V for Vendetta references. Good evening. Hey. Okay, so we've got almost everything, but we're still missing a couple of things for Saturday. And so I designate you. Gillian Applegate is the official guy who goes to buy the rest of the stuff. Applegate? I have no idea who that is. Why me? I could send Jill, but I wouldn't dare send a lady by herself. And I could go with her, but I believe the bar should have at least two people in the vicinity at all times. You're not gonna say anything, Jill? If it means not being delivery girl, I'm happy to fake helplessness. Ugh, fine. Give me the list. I'll go back. I'll be back sometime. Something tells me you're planning something, boss. What gives you that impression? Call it a gut feeling. Did you know Gil has had a crush? He what? A client of his. A girl that owns the bazaar. She's been coming on to him for ages, and he's only just started opening up. But he's taking steps backward, and I'm not going to let him. He's opening up, for fuck's sake. And so the errands will take him to the bazaar, I take it. That's right. Huh. All right, then. To the office I go. As for me, time to mix drinks in January. Hopefully my own. Gil with a crush, huh? This place, it's, uh, great. Oh, if it isn't... Hey, Jill, sorry, but is there anywhere I can hide? There's an unpleasant guy on my trail. Boss, stocked woman incoming! The door's open. Go ahead, the door to the left. Thanks. Hello there! Oh, hi there. The other one, that's the bathroom. Wait, what's the dog doing in the bathroom? Now, where did she... Oh, the hellhole. Perfect. Hey, kid, I'll have the usual. Right. You remember me after two weeks? He wanted the usual, right? He wanted a big beer? Was that the usual? I'm pretty sure that's the usual. Apparently that was wrong. Must have missed something. There you go. This seems right. The paper's been a mess lately. You'd think with all that's happening, they'd stay and do more reports. But well, now they're all asking for vacations and I can't afford to be understaffed. So, I had to come up with some sort of reward for whoever produces the most reports. I see no difference in my feed, though. Mr. Donovan, I don't mean to sound rude, but... You do know the infamy of the augmented eye with the general public, right? A shitty page that will over-sensationalize anything and report useless things? Of course I know. Then why not try to rectify that image? To put it simply, I'm being clutched by the balls in the non-pleasant way. Zaibatsu Corp and company have an eye on every publication they haven't bought yet. Report on them once and they'll find something to fine you with. Twice and you'll find your resources severely cut. Anything beyond that and the best case scenario is that they'll buy the damn operation to keep it quiet. I know there are more newsworthy things than whatever it is the lackeys picked out that week. But if I overstep, my ass is on the line. Huh. Glad to see this hellhole is still in one piece. The BTC has been going apeshit closing bars lately. Yeah, that. Yesterday they closed one that served as a key part of a drug trafficking ring. And last week they closed three small bars that served as illegal chicken restaurants. Huh. Not to mention there are like a hundred people who have BTC certificates but never use them. Instead, they keep those credentials around to stop police from raiding their homes or warehouses. I don't know about you, but it's obvious to me that some rest uh, restructuring will begin at the BTC after this whole thing. Man, shit ran deeper than I thought, and no news outlet talks about it. Alright, kid, let's try a moon blast now. Come again? Hey, even I have to break the routine from time to time. Alright, so he wants a moon blast. 
Damn, Moonblasts aren't expensive. I need expensive drinks today. And that's gonna be on the rocks and blended. Shake that thing a little bit faster. Shake that thing like you're its master. And there we go, Moonblast. Now let's see what the ruckus is about. So, what brought you here? All right, did you see a Lilum come in here? Blue hair, big tits. She's the one from the Encore concert coming up. Not really. Did she jump for the root then? Why were you looking for her? Did you want to get an interview? Not really, I was just hitting on her. Hey, I said hitting on her, not hitting her. Stop glaring. Why though? Are you that bored? Don't you have like a family or something? Have you seen that girl? Hot as tits. Also hot ass and tits. I'm suffering the weirdest combo of being hard as fucking curious as shit right now. I want to know just how detailed those King Class CH1A models are, personally. And so you followed her. I've yet to meet a woman that can resist the charms of Donovan D. Dawson. You're in front of one and I'm guessing you have quite the selective memory. Like I said, don't you have a family or something? A wife. But that woman cheats on me as much as I cheat on her. In fact, I'm pretty convinced she gets off on the thought of me cheating on her. So, that Lilum isn't here, huh? I'll have to find a busty enough replacement tonight or I'll explode. In comes Dorothy. Hey, after you're done glaring, can you give me a pile driver? Right. Pile driver. Oh man, this guy buying the cheap shit today. Can't be having this. There you go. Alright. Well, seeing as she's not here, I have no reason to stay. Maybe I'll find someone that looks a bit like her. The guy left. Oh, alright. Thanks for sheltering me, Dana. Hope your sister likes the video. No, thank you. Seems like you had a uh, hearty talk. Your boss is such a fun person. Her sister is a fan of mine, so I recorded a small video for her and took a couple of photos. How nice of you. It's nothing, really. and She did hide me, so it's the least I could do. But, well, we're here already. You mind giving me something sweet? Sure. Something sweet. Sweet drinks. What's expensive? She can afford it. She's a wealthy musician. Blue Fairy. Moonblast. Brantini. Piano Woman. There's the stuff right there. That's how we make the bills get paid. I gotta be skeevy until my rent is paid. I thought the game was over after we paid the 8000 Now we gotta pay the... Uh, 10,000. This was a little unexpected. The game has dragged on a lot longer than I thought it would, although dragged might not be the proper word. That seems like it's got a disparaging intonation to it. Wait, what? Aged and mixed. There you go. Thanks. So, do you know why Donovan was following you? I don't, but I wasn't in the mood to deal with him. His questions were a bit over the line last time, too. Not the worst I've dealt with, but I just didn't want to humor him. I see. Seems like he was just trying to come on to you. You don't say. Well, not like he'd have a chance anyways. I'm not into older guys, and I'm already committed to a relationship. Fig, wait, what, you are? It's not common knowledge, and the ones that hear it try to dismiss it as rumors, but I've been in a relationship with my producer for a while now. Really? We were both single, and that kind of stuff is bound to happen when you spend so much time together. But it all started when he read an entry I made in my blog about wanting to experience love and the like. He offered to help with that after he read it and thought, sure, why not? I already knew him well enough, so it couldn't hurt to try. How nice. He's a stick in the mud where planning is due, but he's a sweetheart otherwise. I see. Hey, can you really walk so calmly? These streets aren't exactly safe. Really? I haven't had any issues lately. Sure, they've tried to mug me once or twice, but it's no big deal. No big deal. Every time somebody tries to mug me, somebody pops out of somewhere and stops it. Makes me feel like I'm always protected. This is some hardcore stalkers. It's the fact that she ran away from Donovan, even after all that, says something. Hey, this will sound familiar, but do you have anything like tea? Let me see. Anything like tea? Um... Anything like tea.
I have no idea. Yeah. I got nothing. I don't know what she wants. Tea. Yeah, I got nothing. I, I don't know what she wants. I'm not sure at all. I'm going to take a rough stab after thinking about it for a while, and I'm going to say that it's probably one of the bottled drinks that we don't have. So... I have no idea. I, I wish there was a way to, like, this is one of the parts where video games like this fall apart, because you can't just tell the customer we don't have anything like that, and then they would pick something else. Like, because it's a, a video game, you kind of have to serve them, and so... I feel like I'm going to lose my bonus here. We don't have anything like that, though. Apparently, I... I don't see anything, so... I don't know. If you don't have it, I hope you don't lose your bonus just by not having it. But I think it's probably one of the bottled drinks that we just don't have. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to give her something. If we lose our bonus, though, that's pretty much the end for us. Like, we're not going to make it. I'm going to get her drunk, by the way. Here. Too vague of an order, huh? Sorry. Hey, you're a King Class CH1A, right? That I am. May I ask you something about your model? Sure. Are there any differences between you and the DFC-72? Um, we both serve the same purpose, but... DFC-72s have the port on their heads, which makes them more versatile. My line lacks that or the resilience of the DT-01Ds, but we're a tad more polished elsewhere. More specifically, our voice emulators are more advanced and our movements are smoother. A trade-off of functionality and power for appearance, you could say. I see. So anything new for this concert? Well, it is an encore, so we're trying to make it the same one for those that couldn't go to the first one. But we always try to spice it up, like maybe with a surprise song or something. There was this one time I sang a cover by of a song by B-Link. Of course, in return, they sang Your Love is a Drug. Ah, so you know the B-Link girls. Really nice kids. You'd be surprised how different from their onstage persona as they are. Really? Suzu, for example, could be really childish at times. She also laughs a lot and loudly at that. Meanwhile, Aina is a party girl through and through. If they're not on tour, she spends her time partying like crazy. Oh, hard to believe. I mean, our, their image is that of stoic girls with little expression, almost like living Victorian dolls or something. Well, they wanted to pop out in the public. They once told me if we want people to notice us, we have to break the cutesy idol concept. And so they took the opposite route by becoming cool beauties with melancholic songs. I wouldn't say they went the opposite way. The opposite of cutesy idols would be unkempt tone-deaf girls spewing vitriol and hate. True, I guess. Well, I gotta go, but let's have a sparkle star first. Hopefully we don't get penalized for that. That sucks if you can get penalized for not having like a random drink that you just didn't buy throughout the course of the game. I don't know. That'd be a bit of a bummer. And if we lose our bonus, we're definitely not going to pay our rent tomorrow. And we don't have anything that's like tea, so I have no idea. Here. Sparkling. Well, it's always a pleasure, Jill. Please come again. Will do. Oh, the handsome bartender. Hey, it's nice to see you. Uh, yeah? Boss, Gil's back. I'll take my break. Oh, we definitely aren't making that money today. We've barely made anything right now, and we're already going on our break. It's not a good sign. It's not a good sign at all. We've made like four drinks. Better hope for a busy second half of the day. Technically, they can't evict you for 90 days for non-paying. I don't know. That's how it is in California. It takes them a long-ass time to evict you. And during that time, you're allowed to pay the rent and like catch up on your bills or whatever. You got like 90 days or 120 days or something like that by law. So that they can't just be like, all right, it's the second. Get out. 
Although my landlady wishes. My landlady, God, every now and again I forget to pay rent. She'll be up at my house in the second banging on the door being like, where's my rent? Like, Jesus. I had work yesterday. By the time I got home, you were not here. Maybe work a little later. I don't know. <laughs> Note to self, buy oil for that door. I'm resigned. We're not going to make it. There's no way with that few customers at the beginning of the day we're going to be able to make it happen now. Gil, you're in my spot, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Also, you're cleaning one of the boss's chicken buckets. Did boss ask you to do that? If I told you she did, would you believe me? Without a doubt. Let's go with that, then. Right. Greetings! Ah, Stella, what can I get you? I'll go with a Bleeding Jane today. A bleeding Jane. Blended. Even better. Here you go. Thank you. What brought you here today? Waiting for Say? I came by myself, actually. I was in the air and stopped by to say hi. Oh. It's pretty interesting, though. When I first saw you, I doubted you'd ever come here again. Well, this place is comfortable, I must admit. So quiet and secluded. It's also clean, like, really clean. Gil is the one you can uh, owe that to. Guy takes pride in how clean he keeps things around here. If you ever need cleaning staff, he's a nice pick. Really? Hmm. <laughs> he's a bit out of it today, though. I see. Hey, Jill, have you heard the new gold rush in the city? Gold rush? Everybody is paying small fortunes to get their hands on pieces of white night suits. I think I heard or read something about it, but I'm having doubts, so probably not. In any case, how is it a gold rush? <laughs> Well, the tech behind the suits was always safely guarded, but after the events at the bank... Sorry. After the events at the bank, the suits were remotely shut down, breaking many of them in the process. Many units dropped their armor right then and there and fled when the lynchings went on. Any white knight still stuck in their suit had to take the armor off manually to run away. It all happened in the middle of the lynchings, so they'd be sitting ducks if they didn't. Some weren't that lucky. They got beaten up while they weren't able to move. So between the suits becoming glorified paperweights and many white knights going on the run, there ended up being a lot of junk lying around, but the whole scientific community is rejoicing. They're on a race to reverse engineer the suits and take as much technology as possible from them. Of course, even single pieces of armor fetch a high price these days. Could anyone see any profit from that research to justify the expenses? It's new tech, a whole new field ripe with patents just open for many. So I'd say yeah. Huh. I mean, the BTC is literally a conglomerate built upon patents and trademarks. I can see how. There is one weird case, though. Huh? There's this guy named Jack. He's the captain of a very unique Blitzkrieg Corps unit. Unique. The guy had a really small unit. Five people, including himself. You gotta be careful saying sentences like that. You're gonna hurt his feelings. The aesthetics of his unit's armor was heavily modded to the point that they looked like a squad of Henshin heroes. Hen what? <clears throat> they looked really gaudy. But it turned out that the guy actually broke through the software and disabled the remote switch. He has one of the few, if not the only, suits of armor with the OS intact. To say they're among the most wanted people would be an understatement. You know a lot about this. It's interesting the amount of things that you hear when dealing with drunk people of all kinds in the same place. It also helps to put on a front that makes people lower their guard. That should sound familiar to you. True. Wait. Here's a freebie, a fun fact. Failsafe was originally going to involve the armor blowing up and leaving no traces, but regulations and laws didn't allow that kind of technology near civilians. I guess even Zaibatsu Corps has its limits, huh? People love to demonize Zaibatsu Corp because, let's face it, they're far from innocent. But they're not evil overlords, they're just greedy. They're just a big corporation. They just so happen to have control over what tantamounts to a city-state. But corporations will naturally resort to draconian methods. I've heard horror stories from people outside the city about trying to use product placement. If you so much as hold a bottle the wrong way or get in the way of a logo, you'll be in for lots of trouble. And let's not start with theme parks and the like. Those are dystopias of their own. Then again, most of the demonization is due to Quincy being such a clown. He has no power anyways. He's just the front of whatever council behind Zaibatsu Corp chose. Makes a fool of himself and the attention is taken away from whatever it is that Zaibatsu Corp is actually doing. Yeah. So what you were saying is that Glitch City is basically a huge theme park? I've called the White Knights glorified mall security in the past, so... Yep. Huh. No, seriously, Hen what? 
Can I uh, get a Brantini here, please? Yeah, yeah. Get the lady of Brantini. Henshin Warriors. Aged and mixed. There you go. Thanks. So I take it you're in a good mood today? Does it show? A bit. Yeah, well, I managed to nab a couple of tickets for the Kira Miki Encore concert. Nice. All right, as it turns out, she was just here. Again? Ugh, sorry. Again? Can't believe I just missed her. I was surprised, too. I was more surprised she remembered my name, though. And like last time, she was quite the graceful client. Man, so those rumors about her being really nice in person were actually true, huh? Amazing. I mean, you always want the famous people to be nice in real life, but having such backing to that claim, hear that she's so nice to everybody, it's nice to hear, you know? In fact, many think that's what made her so famous so quickly. How she's down to earth and totally accessible, making her someone everybody wants to root for. I see. Yeah, I mean, I guess you don't want to feel like you're supporting crappy people. Although, to be honest, I've never put much thought into that one. Hell, half the time, I have no idea who made what I use, nor do I care that much. Being a nice person will take you far, though. My daddy always insisted that being ruthless in the boardroom doesn't mean being an ass. And he actually managed to get certain contracts over other more powerful people, all thanks to being a nice guy overall. It sounds like good advice, but more importantly, Daddy? <clears throat> you really believe me saying she was just here that easily? You're not the kind of lie about stuff like that, so sure. Thanks, I guess. That said, can you go to the concert so easily? What about security and the like? My dad always has a unit keeping an eye on me from a distance. And you'd be surprised at how easily I can disguise myself with just a different hairdo and a cap. I see. I wonder if I could get into the disabled line with Say in her wounds. Although she'll probably nag me about how she doesn't need it, we shouldn't abuse it. <laughs> hey, can you get me a classic drink? Something classic? Well, there's beer, there's Bleeding Janes. And there's Frothy Waters. Sounds like a uh, Bleeding Jane it is. Actually, we'll go with a beer. I never make beers except for when people order them. There you go. Thank you. Do you have any servants around the house, Stella? I do, but they've been with us for so long that they're pretty much family. My dad has always said that if you earn someone's trust, they'll gleefully work for you and everybody wins. We even had a young gardener that left to study engineering and he actually came back. He still comes by every weekend to tend to the plants. Man, that sounds nice. Let me know if you're ever in need of a job. I might find you something. Thanks for the offer. Wait. Hmm? I just realized something's off with the whole Tech Gold Rush story. What would it be? Wouldn't all that tech be patented in ways? Or anyways, I get trying to crack it in the first place, but that would be true if the tech was patented in the first place. It isn't? The Ibatsu have been so paranoid about making the White Knights untouchable that they never patented anything. A patent would be in a database that someone can hack and retrieve valuable info from. Not to mention, they've been using tech from other companies without any authorization. And no patent registry in their right mind would approve of that global shutdown signal, let alone how it immobilized everybody still inside one of the suits. So the ones that were upholding the law did so using suits that are by all means illegal. The irony runs deep, wouldn't you say? Why do it, though? When you have so much money, you start thinking you can screw around with the rules. All that power makes you think you're above every law that there is. And this city is what happens when those with money start making the rules. I'm curious, though. Have you ever covered up any fuck-ups by using money? I think we've all done things we're not too proud of at some point in our lives. Well, Jill, I gotta go. It's always a pleasure. Come again. Uh, Alma? No, hello. And that's it. We're out of time for the day. Alma's here, and it is time for us to bid everyone adieu. My name is Splattercat. This is Valhalla. I'll see you on the flip side, everybody. Bye.